Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. Okay, so today I want to give you a dessert to make. How about that, okay? So we're going to make lemonade cupcakes. Lemonade cupcakes. And the lemonade is coming from the lemonade drink mix, which is a Kool-Aid. Okay, so we're going to show you how to transform a cake into the lemonade cupcakes with the lemonade cupcake frosting too. Oh, all vitamin C. If we're going to uh, have some sweets, why not get some benefits, right? Vitamin C is the lemon. Let's do it. Lemonade cupcakes. By the way, I forgot to say, could you give it a thumbs up? Could you give it a thumbs up? Go ahead and give it a thumbs up now. Share, share all the videos and subscribe. I love having you around and I enjoy working with you. Let's do it. Okay, so we're going to be using a yellow cake mix in the box. Okay. This is my package of lemonade that I bought. Six packs come in here for $1.79. So we're going to be using two of the packages of lemonade. Okay. So that's how we're altering the recipe. And we're going to also add some lemon extract. Okay. And I wanted to say this for a while. And I think it's worth pointing out. Yes, you can make a cake from scratch, which I sometimes do. Or you can use a cake mix and doctor it up. Here's the difference cost-wise. This box of cake mix was on sale two for $3. So this cost me $1.50, right? If I was to make a cake from scratch, the flour, cake flour alone could cost me $3. And we're not counting the sugar, uh, the, the oil, anything else that got to go in with it. So you can see how more cost effective it is to use box cake mix. Not that you're being cheap, it just makes sense. Because what's inside of the cake mix is cake flour. So they already put it in the box for you. Much cheaper. So I wanted to point that out for a very long time. And I'm glad I got around to doing it today. Okay, so let's open this. And it calls for one third cup of vegetable oil. So we're going to put the cake mix in the Ninja. This is what I'm working with the Ninja as my mixer. Okay, now we need one third. It says, I'm, yeah, one third cup of vegetable oil. I use olive oil. So let me get my one third cup measure here. There it is. So, Roger, he always keeps me supplied. Roger sent me these cup measures and the spoon measures stainless steel he was upgrading me thank you roger that was very very nice of you i really appreciate it and it's really a good one that will last you forever because stainless steel is not going nowhere okay so let me find the one third cup measure and the numbers are nicely right on the handle which is great okay so this is my one third cup measure so I need one third cup of olive oil or vegetable oil if that's what you use. Okay, one third cup of oil is in. One second, I gotta get my eggs. Okay, so I have my three eggs. 
right here. Now we're going to mix them up. Let's put it in. Okay, then the recipe is calling for, on the box, is calling for one cup of water. One cup of water. Now, this is my one cup measure. This is where we're going to add the lemonade. So we're going to add the two packages of lemonade first in this one cup measure before we add the water, okay? Okay, so that's the two packages of lemonade. And now we're going to add the water to fill up for this one cup. Before you uh, fill it up, you want to go halfway. Then you want to actually mix the lemonade so it dissolves in the same water that it's, it's calling for, the one cup. So you can see how it has dissolved to a yellow color, right? Okay. And to this, I'm going to add my lemon extract as well. Take teaspoon measure that Roger gave me. Okay, this is a teaspoon measure. I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla, I'm mean, sorry, of lemon extract. Lemon extract. Thank you, Roger. See, they came in handy. So, two teaspoons. One, two. of lemon extract. Now I'm going to add the rest of my water. Give it a nice stir. Okay. So you see I have a little bit of Kool-Aid down in there, so I'm going to put a drop of water in there to just collect that up. Just we want it all. Pour that in. Okay, we're good. size of the cupcakes that I'm going to be making. This is a large cupcake. Okay. All right. So we have everything in now. We have our water, our eggs, our extract, and uh, oil. So we're good now. So I can mix it up. I'm going to put, put the Ninja on mix, and it is loud, so let me let you know that now.
see what's going on. Okay, it's all mixed up. Mmm, smells like lemon too. Wonderful. Okay, so now this is my thought on the cupcakes. I could just make all lemon cupcakes or I can add some other items to it to make it lemon plus something else. So that's what I thought I would do. So that you can see how you can take one box of cake mix, doctor it up, and then make different kinds of cake cupcakes so that you can have a variety, okay? You ever go to Sam's and you buy a package of cupcakes and they have this kind, that kind, they may have blueberry, uh, apple, this, that. That's how they do it, okay? With that one mix. All right, so let me get my combination and show you. Okay, so we're gonna add some blueberries. And cranberries okay so I have the blueberries here and the cranberries here so we're gonna make some just lemon cupcakes and some with blueberries and some with uh, cranberries okay all right so let's do that So here's our cupcake holder with the uh, liners. These are the large liners for this size cupcake holder, okay? So you're just going to take, I'm going to make sure you can see, so let me switch this around. There we go. So you're going to take just a little bit of cupcake mix and put it on the bottom. So let me show you the serving utensil that I'm using. Okay. You can use a tablespoon if you like. You don't want to fill it all the way, just a little on the bottom. Okay, let me show you this. Clean that off. So you see, I put very little on the bottom, okay, on these three. Now I'm going to add, um, okay, so I'm going to do four. I'll do two cranberry, two blueberry. Okay, so I'm going to do the two cranberry in these first two. You just put about four or five in there. And then you're going to put more mix on the top. And then more fruit on the top of that, the last mix, okay? Let me show you that. That's the cranberry. Now, let's do three cranberry, three blueberry. How about that? So I'm going to fill this other side up halfway. You're only doing a little bit on the bottom so that you can put your fruit in the middle. Okay, so this side is blueberries, right? Okay. Let's put about four or five of those. And these cranberries and blueberries is in the freezer. Okay, so here's the blueberries and here's the cranberries. Now we're going to put more uh, lemon cake mix on the top. 
it's actually no more, no longer a cake mix because I doctored it up, right? So I gotta call it something else. Okay, the right side is blueberries. I'm adding cake mix on top of the blueberries and I'm still calling it cake mix, guys. Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> Now this time you want to come up halfway on the uh, cupcakes because this is going to be the final mix that you're putting in. So now I'm going to put blueberries on the top and I'm coming ha only halfway because it has to rise and so you want to give it room to rise without going over, oh blueberry went over there, it'll so get back. You want to have be able to rise without going over on the pan. Oh, it's looking good, guys. Can't wait to show you. Okay, all the blueberries are in. Now we're going to do the cranberry side. This is the blueberries where I put more uh, lemon batter on the top of the blueberries that I put in the middle. And then I put blueberries on the top. You see? Okay, so now we're going to finish off the cranberries. I'm putting batter on top of the cranberries that I just put there. Okay, now I'm going to put cranberries on top of here. So here's our blueberries and our cranberries. Okay, now let me show you this. I still have all this batter left, so we're going to make lemon, lemonade cupcakes out of that batter that's left, okay? Okay, I have to get some more liners. So these cupcake liners is called Jimbo. Okay. I don't know how much, how many cupcakes I'll end up making, but we'll see. So I'm going to put in four. And then see if I need any more after that. These are just lemonade cupcakes. Nothing else in them. So you can just fill them right on up. Looks like I can get another one in there. Let me try one more. Okay. 
Guys, we are going to get a dozen total. Wow. Out of one box. You see? So now I have putting a six liner in. A twelfth liner in, actually. So we're going to have six lemonade cupcakes. Okay. So there we go. We have six lemonade cupcakes and three cranberry and three blueberry. So we have a total of 12 cupcakes out of one box. Oh, let me do the math on that one. I will do the math on that one. All right, this is going to go in the oven on 350 degrees. Okay, until the cupcakes, when I stick a butter knife in it, it comes out clean. Okay, one second. Okay, so our lemonade cupcakes are out. Let me show you them. Here they are. They're out. So I'm going to put a knife right in the middle. And if it comes out with nothing on it like this, then you're good. You don't have to worry about is it done. It's done. Okay, so that's how I test to see if the cupcakes are done. I'm waiting on the blueberry and cranberry cupcakes. They're going to take a little longer because the fruit is in them, okay? Okay, so while we're waiting on the blueberry and cranberry uh, cupcakes to come out, let's start on our frosting. So we're going to be using this whip frosting um, in the uh, by Duncan Hines. And this is one package of the lemonade like we used in the cake. I'm going to take the one package and I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to add some water. Just enough to make a paste. Okay, this is one teaspoonful, two teaspoons full. Let's see. I think I'm going to need three. Okay, I got three teaspoons of water to dilute the lemonade. Okay. As you can see, it diluted it. Okay. Now we're going to add some... I think I want to add some lemon juice. Let's add two caps full. One. Two. Two caps full of lemon juice. So we can really bring that lemon flavor up. Lemon juice, 100%. Okay. I did add up the cost for you. I'm going to give you that in a minute. Okay, now that we have our lemonade mix and the lemon juice together, let's add it to the frosting. So here's the frosting. I'm just going to put this right over it. Make 
sure you get it all out. Okay, it's all out. One second, I got to get out the um, blueberry. And okay. The blueberry and cranberry muffins are out, as you can see. Okay. So now all our muffins are out. We're concentrating on the frosting. So I just put in, as you've seen, the lemonade mix and the lemon juice into this frosting. Now I'm just going to mix this in. And then the most important thing is, I'm going to taste it, because you really want that lemon flavor there. Okay, let me taste. The lemon flavor is spot on, guys. It is definitely there. That lemonade, the lemonade Kool-Aid did the trick. Oh boy, that's great. It tastes so, so good, guys. Oh my goodness, it tastes so good. Okay, so I'm going to give you the word of the day. I'm going to let our cupcakes cool down for about maybe uh, 40 minutes. And then I'll come back and frost them with you, okay? Okay, let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day. The word of the day is dreams. Your dreams. So lately, I have decided, Grandma Ray decided, that she's going to push forward some of her dreams. You know, Lots of times I want to uh, push forward my dreams. I don't have the energy. Lots of times I want to push forward my dreams and I don't have the finances. Lots of times I don't push forward my dreams because of circumstance. But I'm here to encourage you to follow me. And let's push our dreams forward. One step at a time, but you know, you got to actually make that step, right? So this week, today, I'm going to make my first step towards my future dreams. And I will be uh, talking to you about that and, and my progress as I go along. And this, the point of telling you is to encourage you. If you have some dreams, I don't care what your obstacles are. Please, get up and get them done, okay? Find a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And if you have a will, you're going to you're gonna find the way. That's the word of the day, dreams. Let's dream a little, shall we? And make it come true. All right. Okay, I did want to come back and give you a breakdown of the cost, okay? So we made lemonade, blueberry, cranberry, and lemon jimbo cupcakes. So the total came to, for the cake mix, I paid a dollar fifty, three eggs, thirty-three cent, uh, one third cup of oil, a dollar, lemon extract, fifty cents, blueberry, a half a cup of blueberries was fifty cents, a half a cup of cranberries was fifty cents, and so you know I take the amount that I pay for a package and I divide it up and that's how I come up with these figures. Okay, because when you buy stuff and use stuff, you don't always use the whole thing. Okay, lemonade mix was 29 cents a package, so the two packages were 58 cents. The frosting was a dollar fifty. Two packs of uh, well, one pack of lemonade in the frosting was 29 cents. So we're looking at around give or take six dollars and um, 79 cents. Okay, so that's roughly around maybe 57, 58 cents a cupcake, and we have 12 of them. 
for 58 cents each. You can't beat that, guys. Okay, I just wanted to come back and give you that breakdown so you can see how to stretch your budget. And also, by making the variety of cupcakes, you bring more to the table, more excitement, and more nutrition. Okay? All right, we'll be back to put the frosting on the cupcakes. Thanks. Okay, guys. So, I've separated things. Here's our lemonade cupcakes. And here's our blueberry and cranberry cupcakes. I'm not going to frost the blueberry and cranberry cupcakes so that they can be for breakfast or those who don't want uh, the frosting. Okay? Okay, so now this is our lemonade frosting that we docked it up. We put the package of lemonade mix in there. Um, and let me show you the lemonade. This is the lemonade I purchased, and it comes six to a pack, and this is what, I'm trying to see the amount on here, which I can't see, so let's see. The whole, all six packages is 32 ounces. So you can divide that up by six, and that's how many ounces each package would be. Okay? All right. So I took the frosting and I put the container in the freezer for about 20 minutes to tighten it up. And you can see from putting it in the freezer, it's solid. See that? So now we're going to frost each of the lemon cupcakes. So that's one. You notice how I left uh, the outer edge so that you can see the outer edge? Just to give the eye appeal, okay? Even though you're doing this at home, you still want to present in a way where it makes people want to eat it. Because you might be doing it, uh, maybe you're going to start a catering business or something. Okay, so I just put, this is a tablespoon I'm using. So I just put a tablespoon full and then I spread it uh, in the middle so that you can still see the outer edge as I said before. That's two. So here we go. The tablespoon full is there and I'm using the back of the spoon to push it out. And there we go. Okay. This is the last one. Okay, so I have, this container of frosting is 14 ounces, and I have half left. So you can clearly see that the cost I paid for this frosting was $1.50, so I can cut that in half now and say I use 75 cents worth, because I can use this to frost another cake or something, right? But you got to put it in the refrigerator if you open it. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Here's our lemon uh, cupcakes, lemonade cupcakes with lemonade frosting. 
in his uh, cranberry and blueberry uh, cupcakes. So let me come back and take a taste for you. One second. Okay, so let me start. I'm going to taste the cranberry cupcake first. I cut it open so that you can see the middle here. See that? Definitely can taste the lemon. And then when you bite into the cranberry, it just melts in your mouth. So you have that lemon flavor in your mouth and the cranberry together. Mmm. So good. Cranberries, vitamin C. Lemon, vitamin C. To help with the sickness that's going on nationwide. Okay. So now I'm going to taste the lemon frosted cu lemon cupcake. Okay. I cut it and see that. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. That lemonade flavor on that frosting. Oh my goodness. It's something straight straight to my brain to let me know hey the flavor is here awesome 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 guys I give this an A plus so share the video show others how they can make a variety of cupcakes using one box of cake mix and the cost less than seven dollars coming down to about 58 cents a cupcake you can't beat that until next time Please give it a thumbs up, so give it a thumbs up, and another thumbs up. Share, share the video, and subscribe. Grandma Ray loves you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Another good one.